Good morning to you and welcome to another craft session. Um, today we're going to think about what is important in life. Um, last week we were looking at um, considering everything a loss for the sake of Christ Jesus. And I made Lydia, if you remember, with a lovely salt dough face. Um, and today, this week, we're going to be thinking about what's really important. And the, the bit of the Bible I'm using is from Philippians, and it says, I want to know Christ, yes, and the power of his resurrection. And this is leading us on to the central message of Christianity, that because Jesus died on a cross for us, he has freed us from sin and from death and he has given us eternal life and a relationship with him. And that is what he achieved on the cross. So the central message of Christianity is the cross. So today we're making a cross. Um, here's one I've started. I made that, started making that yesterday. I'm thinking about doing stripes, just I felt like it. Um, so first of all, we need to make the salt dough using the same recipe as we have been doing for the last couple of weeks um, it is one cup of flour half a cup of salt half a cup of warm water one tablespoon of oil mixed together with a spoon knead for two or three minutes like kneading bread and then make your shape and it goes into the oven for at least two hours at 100 or 50 even um, so i've um, I've got my dough ready here. I've just been playing with it. Um, so I just added a little bit more flour to make it um, this sort of texture. So you can see it's quite squishy. So, right, so I'm going to roll it out first. Um, my rolling pin, I have a rolling pin. You could use a jam jar or a bottle if you want to, if you don't have a nice little rolling pin. And I'm going to make it a bit thinner than I did yesterday. Um, again, I found they didn't cook all the way through. I made them like, um, I would say, half, half an inch in depth yesterday. So today I'm going to aim for half a centimetre in depth. That's, uh, that's it so far, just rolled out. Uh, a cross is just a line down and a line across, isn't it? So I did experiment just with a ruler, but I found the easiest way was to get a piece of card and then you can use those corners because they're lovely right angles. So I'll just do that and show you what I've done. Oh, and use your knife. This is just a, a, a vegetable knife. Um, cut down, don't, don't, um, don't saw across because it moves it. Just cut down and it, you get a better um, cut. I'll just do that. I'll show you when I've finished. I think this isn't quite right either. If you have a look at a cross, you can see what you're aiming for. That the um, bottom bit is longer than all the other bits. Just take those bits away. Oops get it everywhere and you can see there's the cross there's my bits that I've cut away so that would go in the oven for I would say two hours at 100 and then leave it in a warm oven okay so that's um and oh before you do that it's a really good idea to put um a paper clip in a paper clip or something else you can use as a loop I decided that was easier than what we did the other time, which was putting a hole through it. That wasn't strong enough. So a paper clip in the top to make it into a hanging decoration. So moving my clay to one side. It's not clay, it's Play-Doh. Right, so what I did with my technique here was I made stripes by using sellotape. So I'll show you um, on this side. No, I'll show you on this one. This is a little one I made and I've just coloured it purple. So now I'm going to put sellotape in the diagonal lines across. I'm going to actually cut them. Now the problem is I've got 
flour all over the hands, so unfortunately, probably won't stick. Should have washed my hands. Right, so I've just put two pieces of sellotape diagonally across, and now using my paint, um, let's have a look. Got some different paints here. Um, I'm using the acrylic paints again, which are my favourite at the moment. I think I'll put some blue on it. Oops. Get some more blue out. I love this paint. And because you don't need to do a lot of um, water, just it comes out as it is. So I'm going to put blue where the sellotape isn't. And the sellotape will make it into a nice diagonal line, which is easier when you're doing painting. Whoops, that's come off. Um, than deciding on the line. If you put a sellotape on, um, you get a nice effect. So just quite a lot of um, paint. Now let's see if that works. Yeah, it's come out all right. Pulling off the sellotape, can you see? I've got some diagonal lines of my base colour. So I've got purple underneath and then I've added the blue. Okay, and the other one, which I put down, here we are. I put some um, sellotape across it and I added um, four different colours. So I've got blue, purple, and a purple that I added um, white to there. So now I'm thinking maybe we'll put some more colours on that. So I can add some more sellotape. Um, just wipe my hands. So I don't get flour and paint on everything. And uh, what we'll do, we'll just put more sellotape on where the paint was. Because it's nice and dry now. a good technique you could do it with lots of things um, it works really well with um, salt dough and what color shall we have now shall we have a contrasting color I think we might have that orange That's not orange I think it's brown I don't like that so much I think I might just put some more blue on and put blue no, I haven't got film tape. And I'll use that brown. What I do, I do a different paintbrush for each colour then. Then I don't need to wash them all the time. Right, so that time I put the sellotape where I'd already painted. So now I'm going to lift the sellotape off. And you can see I'm getting quite a nice striped effect. And my final idea was, as it's um, the cross, we should definitely have some glitter to celebrate what Jesus did on the cross. So I've got some glue here, just my craft glue. I'm going to put that in that bit where I haven't got anything. And I think I might put a bit at the top at the bottom where I've got my dried paint. And then, using my paper to scoop past the, so, um, scoop the glue back. What colour shall we use? Do you think silver? I think silver. If I'd opened it, you see, I would have uh, got um, glitter everywhere. And now you can see me opening it. Right, we're, we're in action. Just move that with my finger so it's covered nicely. And I'm going to add lots of silver everywhere. Right, pat it in with a clean finger, just a bit, and then shake it off. Now you could spend more time on this, you could add lots of different colours if you wanted, waiting for each one to dry. Uh, you could add lots of different glitter. So there you've got the basic idea, what you can do. And then this would make a lovely decoration to put in your bedroom 
or somewhere on the mantelpiece or somewhere, somewhere where you can remind yourself that Jesus is the real prize. And there we go. And that's all for today. Thank you very much.